Burden of proof is the obligation of a party to provide sufficient evidence in support of their side in a dispute or issue. In practical usage, the term burden of proof is actually a little strong because it implies the need to prove beyond a doubt. In practice, it is burden of evidence. The side that has the burden of proof is obligated to provide evidence to back up their viewpoint. Determining the burden of proof is not always easy to do. This is because it varies in different circumstances and it changes in the course of the discussion. The following are considered criteria for finding the burden of proof. In general, the burden of proof goes to the party making the claim. An American criminal trial is an example of this because the prosecution has the burden of proof. However, this is not an absolute rule. Some circumstances can change the burden of proof to someone denying a claim. Also, a party making a new claim about an accepted idea has the burden of proof. For example, those claiming that the Apollo moon landings did not really happen have the burden of proof. The burden of proof fallacy is the process of wrongfully trying to switch the burden of proof to your opponent. A good example of a burden of proof fallacy is claiming that before creationists can argue that abiogenesis is impossible, that they first must disprove every claim of how it can be done. In reality, proponents of abiogenesis need to prove that it is possible. This is because we already know that intelligence can produce complex, organized systems. We already do it, though not to the degree of life. However, no real evidence for abiogenesis has been produced, just unproven stories about how it could have happened. Now, the burden of proof can legitimately switch sides. This occurs when new arguments have been made and evidence presented. If the opposition wishes to dispute the new evidence or argument, they then have the burden of proof in doing so. Hence, the burden of proof has switched. Often the biggest problem in a discussion is agreeing on who has the burden of proof. It can consume much time and render a debate useless. Another problem is that since each side sees the issue differently, it may be hard to agree on burden of proof.